What's up YouTube? It is your boy Lopes and welcome back to another video and thank you so much for tuning in and today we are getting the CSX winner ready. We got the Civic SI winner ready and now for you guys, some of you guys that don't know, the red car I have here is an Acura CSX Type S. It's only made in Canada. It's similar to an FD1 or an FD2 uh, but what it has, it has the motor and chassis or the motor and tranny of the 8th gen Civic SI. Just a little info and background. So what we're doing, we're gonna take off my Advan RZs with my Hankook RS4 tires uh, because the car is garage kept through the winter and when it does get cold, um, you lose air in tires. I don't want any flat spots on those tires. They're very, very good tires. Um, so we're gonna put on the work CRA Kai's that were on my 10th gen onto here and hopefully they fit. And if they don't fit, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Garage 16 and pick up a spacer. I'm not an advocate of spacers, but for this situation and storing purposes, I kind of, I need, it to, I need it to work, that's basically it. I'm not gonna put it on jack stands for the fact that I do wanna take the car out sometimes if like the roads are clear, not too much salt, and I may wanna shoot video still, so I do not wanna park away the CSX for this winter, usually I do, uh, but I'm gonna hope it's gonna be a light winter here in Canada, we're not gonna get too much snow. I know the tires on the Work Sierra guys are absolutely garbage, they're Chinese tires that aren't good, I spin in my 10th gen, I'll spin all day in the, the eighth, but it's tires and it's wheels that will work. This is a bit of a longer intro. I just want to give you a bit of background story. I'm going to show you the wheel setup that I have currently on the HN and what we're going to switch it to. Stay tuned, stick with it, and let's go. So these are the wheels that we will be putting on the HN there. That guy right there. Uh, these are 18 by 8 plus 38 work CRA Kai's. They're authentic CRA Kai's, if any of you guys are wondering, because I know maybe some of you guys are. It's really dirty, but I have everything there. In the beginning, I really wanted these as my wheel for this car here, uh, but then I found those were uh, the Advan RZs, and it ended up just working out because it ended up looking really good. This is going to look badass on this car, regardless. If they're 18s, they're gonna look bigger. I'm just curious to see how they're gonna look. The reveal will be obviously at the end, so stick with it and uh, watch until the end, and then you'll see how this guy's gonna look with 18s. Once again, if it does not fit, I'll have to use probably a mill or two spacers. Let's hope this all works out. So I have jacked her up. We're gonna do one tire at a time. So my main concern really is the Brembo's, if it will pass and clear the Brembo's. I guess we'll see, I'm not too sure yet, uh, but these are my Advent RZs. As you can see, Ventus RS4 tires on there. I like these because not too many people use these and it really suits the car well. Obviously it's not gonna be that height, but as you can see this tire, we already started getting a little low. So that's kind of the inspiration behind this video is because I saw how low the tires are getting and it is getting colder. You shouldn't really run these wheels or these tires or any R compound tires under 10 degrees anyway. It's not good for the compound. It modifies it and makes it kind of shitty. Let's get the gun and take this guy off and test fit this bad boy right here. I'm gonna try not getting too dirty. I was actually dressed to go out then I decided to do this video today instead of tomorrow. So, don't mind the pretty boy pants and all that type of stuff. Usually I'm attracted to pants. So let's get this guy out. All right. And RZ is off. I don't know. I really don't think so. Nope. Unsuccessful. So we're gonna have to go get spacers. Looks like I need shit man. Quite a decent size spacer, maybe like a five mil spacer all around. Alright, so got to go do that and hopefully after we do that this fits pretty good let's just take a look at it and step back it actually looks pretty good on the car a lot different than that that's for sure we're going from this to that I'm gonna head over to garage 16 and we're gonna go pick up some spacers like I said because uh, I need this to work to get the whole situation situated my my glasses are fogging up because I'm hot I'm sweating it's warmer than usual it's five degrees here in Canada and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna hop there, it's not too far. We're gonna go pick up the spacers and we'll continue working on the car and switching out the tires and I think those Work Sierra Kai's look badass. Um, I may be inspired to go Work Sierra Kai's and sell the Advent RZs, I'm not sure. Uh, what wheels would you guys like to see on the HN Civic? Let me know, comment down below. I'm sweating, I'm gonna start driving because I'm sweating, I open a window and let's get her. We have a 
arrived at garage 16 I'm going to go look at some spacers I'm not gonna take you guys in just in case people don't want to be recording there I feel a little awkward doing that um, I didn't really get anyone's permission either so I'm just not gonna hop in with the camera and start vlogging in front of everyone inside anyway I'm hoping it's gonna be something from a two to five mil spacer I think it's gonna be a five mil spacer that I need I hope it's not 10 because if it's 10 I gotta extend the studs do all that stuff but if it's 10 we'll buy 10 just so the car can sit on the wheels and then eventually we'll figure something out afterwards maybe I'll extend my studs anyway because maybe we're going wider fenders who knows that's a hint but yeah um, I'm gonna hop in there it'll be a couple of minutes for me it might be seconds for you guys so see you soon two hours later and welcome back so um hmm I think I have to go with more than five mil. They have eight mil, so we want eight mil. This is the brand. Like I said, I'm not a spacer guy, so I don't know if this is a good brand, bad brand. Um, but like I said, this is literally so the car can sit in the garage and roll around when I need it to. Take it out and take it in to work on the tension and do stuff. Uh, but yeah, so let's get back home, install these. I Oh God, I hope they fit. I know they'll fit because these are five by 114, but I hope the wheels fit. They should. Because I think it even went overkill. I think I could have gone five mil, but it wouldn't would have been really, really tight. So we're gonna go with eight mil and cool transition now. Now. How about now? Oh look, you can see me still. How about now? And we are back. Alright, so that's a little extra. But yeah, so I'm gonna jack up the car. We're gonna do exactly what we did before. Um, then we're gonna test and see if these guys work. Hopefully they do. If they don't, I'm kind of screwed. Um, yeah, so, ooh, that's bright. So let's get that done and let's see. Wish me luck. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've never used spacers before. This will be a first time for me. And let's hope that this spacer will clear this goddamn dirty ass salty wheel and get her on. Let's see. So much work to put a goddamn wheel on. It's just there, we need like 10 more mil. It's just, I guess it's the design of the wheel because I have a 17 by nine plus 35 and that's 17 by eight plus 30. It shouldn't, I, I get, I thought I had way more clearance than I did. And I don't know people running, I guess it depends on the wheel. I'm just flustered right now. After some thought, um, I am not gonna go get 10 mil spacer because I believe the 10 mil comes with the hub and I think it's gonna stick too far out and it's gonna hit the fenders and I don't wanna hit the carbon fenders. So we're in a bit of a predicament. What I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the wheel back on for the second time, bring the car in, jack it up and leave it on jack stands for now, just so I don't get any flat spots on the wheels. And we may have to hunt for wheels for this car for winter and or, or, or anyone wants to trade for these wheels, let me know. Maybe it'll work out, maybe it won't. I like Volk T37 SLs, the real ones. I work Sierra Kai's, like what I'm trying to do, but for respect for this car. Uh, but yeah, mm, let's bring her back down, let's put the bolts back in, and we're gonna park her in the garage. And this is probably an epic fail. And I was debating on posting this, but I'll post it. Still, you guys got to experience this epic failure with me and you got to see the car and we got some cool cinematics and all that so i hope you guys enjoyed it uh let's go drop her down put her in the garage and then jack her up again and again and again and again and again i guess you can say today was an epic fail unfortunately we all have these days and i know it happens more than none and uh, unfortunately it happened on camera so i am going to post this it just shows that things like this do happen to everyone especially even on the internet who do YouTube installs like I do and stuff like that and things do happen. I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. Uh, we got to see the HN. Uh, we saw how work CRA Kai's look on it which is pretty badass because that's what I kind of really like on the car. The Advent RZs are pretty cool too. They're not as common so they're nice to see. Uh, but if you like the work CRA Kai's comment down below and let me know if you like them. Maybe I'll get 17 by 9 plus 35s on these guys. Uh, but these these wheels are sitting quite nice. So I've jacked the car up It's gonna stay like this and when I'm ready to put new wheels Maybe I'll put temporary wheels that can fit on here and clear the Brembo's that would be great If not, it is what it is I'll keep them on jacks and jack it down jack it up and do all that when I have to work with in the garage 
Thank you so much for watching guys. Please hit that notification button if you haven't already. That will keep you up to date and notified when my videos come out and you guys can check them out. Um, sometimes YouTube doesn't show my videos in the sub boxes and it happens to a lot of us. So hit that notification button so you don't have to worry about that. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, hit that like button please because today was a fail and I can use the love. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Do it once. Do it right. Later. I love you guys.